live. Alex Hunter against Harry Moskowitz. Alex Hunter, Brazilian jiu-jitsu stylist, and Harry Moskowitz, freestyle fighter. Harry Moskowitz getting set for tonight in the UFC in his debut. Oh, I, I have them, but I prefer ground fighting out of all of it. Uh, if I have to stand up and fight, I will. But uh, I prefer to fight on the ground. Here he comes, Dirty Harry, a local product, fighting out of Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Freestyle fighter, five and two in reality combat fights. First appearance in the UFC. A construction worker who likes the challenge of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Wanted to do this since he saw it for the first time. Well, certainly he's a very big man. Freestyle fighting, he's, he says he wants to go to the ground. But he's a big man with big punches, and I'm sure he wants to bring that power and size to bear on his smaller opponent. Dirty Harry. There's a look at his discipline description. And Jeff, he is big. He is a bruiser. Yes, he is. Size and power, that's probably his biggest advantage over his opponent. Says he's good on the ground, but he's also a very good striker. Look for him to probably go to that limited submissions. Well, his opponent tonight has been on the UFC before. Alex, the chief hunter. He loves to talk about respect. Well, I respect anyone who comes in the ring, but I never assume anything about my opponent. Even if even if a reliable source tells me he's, he's a striker, he's a grappler, whatever, I just never assume anything. I go, I go in there with the idea that he knows everything and that he's good at everything. Here comes the Chief, 1-0 and in the UFC, defeated Sam Fulton in UFC 14. And he did it in two minutes and 30 seconds when the referee stopped the contest. 12-0 and in local tournaments, all easy wins. Guy who spent some time in the Marines and recon in Camp Lejeune. Jeffy Strong and 10 years in the martial arts. Yes, he is, and he looks as though he's prepared himself well for this great physical condition. Looks very strong for his size, very, very developed. He's a jujitsu stylist, for look, so look for him to be good on the ground. He's also capable of striking. Experience is everything, Bruce. You know that. He was a first-timer last time and found success. So he's on a roll. He's confident. I'm sure he's improved his game. Good submissions. Jiu-Jitsu. Powerful striker. We'll see against the big, big man. He's going to need it, need it. And he has limited freestyle fighting experience. But basically, no holds barred mixed martial arts. He's prepared. So it's the Chief against Dirty Harry. And let's take a look at the specifics as we unveil the tail of the tape. And certainly the weight is going to be a big issue with Moskowitz at 293 and Hunter at 210. Hunter is six years younger and he's giving away a bunch of inches in addition to pounds. Right now for the formal introduction of the alternate fighters, let's go up to our octagon announcer, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Casino Magic, Magic Dome in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Tonight, SCG Sports presents the only event of its kind. This unique event brings together 13 of the world's most elite fighters in the ultimate testing ground, the Octagon. Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Get ready for a collision course like you've never seen before. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to begin the Ultimate Fighting Champion. We begin our evening with the first bout, beginning an alternate tournament where the winners have a chance to advance to the finals. Starting with the fighter standing to my left, he's a freestyle fighter from Highlands, New Jersey, and fighting out of Ocean Springs, Mississippi. 
He has a record of five and two in mixed martial arts. He's 30 years old, standing six feet, five inches tall, and weighs in at 293 pounds. Please welcome in his octagon debut, Dirty Harry. He's from St. Petersburg, Florida. He's an expert in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, fighting with a competition record of 12 and 0. He's 1 and 0 in the octagon. Please welcome, standing at five feet, nine inches tall and weighing in at 210 pounds, Chief Hunter! When the action begins, our referee is Joe Hamilton. Alternate bouts are 12 minutes. There will be two bouts tonight, and if someone is injured and unable to advance in the main draw of the heavyweight tournament, an alternate will take their place. Moskowitz has a 5-2 and two record in no holds barred and did compete in the IFC. But he's never been in the UFC, and that is always a big question mark when you haven't been there before. Big Moskowitz, 293, Hunter is 210. Alternate referee, Joe Hamilton for Provo, Utah, working his 10th UFC, nine years in the LAPD before moving to Utah. This is how Henry's, Hunter is measuring him out. Chief looking to possibly set him up with something there. He takes a shot at a double leg. Good power and knee drive trying to come up. Moskowitz looking for a guillotine choke. Harry Moskowitz trying to sink that choke in. Backing up the smaller Chief Hunter. And Chief doing a good job to repel the challenge early. Both spending a lot of energy in this sequence here. The Chief trying to lift that big body. Moskowitz trying to sink that guillotine choke, but unable to finish. Almost a minute on their feet as uh, Moskowitz tried to land a knee. Now looking for the choke, he picks him up and drops him. He's in good position. He doesn't have a choke in there. Hands aren't gripped. Another knee landed by Moskowitz. Again, he picks up his opponent. It's not a tactically a good situation for Moskowitz to try to lift him. He really doesn't have anything. It's more of a waste of energy. Hunter tried to trip him up, but was unable to do so. Moskowitz so big. And now they break. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Stay busy, stay busy. Hamilton tells them to keep busy. And now going for the double leg is the Chief. He runs Moskowitz all the way across the octagon. And again, that's an awful lot of energy for the Chief to be expending. He drove a big body a long way, came away without any real improvement in position. Over two minutes in, and all this fight has been on their feet. It's clear Hunter wants to bring the fight down. And already Hunter looks like he's winded. He did spend a lot of energy and, and these type of fights is they go in spurts. There's a calm and relaxed time of setup and then there's a flurry and it goes down to a more relaxed pace and then a flurry and certainly Hunter has expended a lot of energy early and Moskowitz is doing well at countering the leg shots. Moskowitz has picked up his opponent several times and dropped him back to the canvas on his feet. Now working on an arm. And Hunter is now hanging onto the fence and not doing anything. This technically qualifies as perhaps a stall hanging onto the fence. And Joe Hamilton, the referee, could break this. You know the rules. And there's an elbow landed by Moskowitz. Cannot land elbows to the head or the neck area. That was more the back. Over 320 in. If Hunter continues his tactic, he's probably taking a break, getting his win back. Oh, a good knee to the head. Oh, he elevated that knee and showed pretty good flexibility. Now he hammers to the chest. 
Moskowitz needs to be careful. If he gets too upright, Hunter could drop down behind both knees, grab that, and rip it out towards the center and possibly bring that big man down. This is almost like a Davy and Goliath format with one guy 5'9", 210, the other 6'5", 293. Moskowitz doesn't want to get frustrated here. Hunter's just waiting, looking for the opportunity. And a right hand by the Chief and another right hand. And now Moskowitz might go down. But again, he holds his center of gravity. And once again, that's an awful lot of energy to spend to come away with nothing. But it's clear that Hunter definitely is resting when he's up against the fence, collecting himself, and then he comes out in a huge flurry. And both, both times, Moskowitz has been able to repel that flurry. Even though Hunter had both legs, he never really got his hips underneath him to lift and finish that double leg takedown. Moskowitz showing pretty good Another good movement lead. by a big guy. And balance as well. Twice he was sent all the way across the octagon. And Hunter came away with nothing. This bout scheduled for 12 minutes, no overtime. We'll have to go to the judges if we complete that 12-minute period. Moskowitz looking to sink the guillotine choke again. Hunter able to counter. It's tough to get unless the man is low and trying to come up onto your legs, and then you have a good opportunity to sink it. And if he's in poor position, bent over at the waist, that's another good situation to go ahead and sink it. But when he's upright like this, it's it's awful hard. You have to somehow manage to get his body to bend in the middle, hinge in the middle, butt back. Again, Moskowitz elevates his opponent, gets nothing for it. Hunter has spent time as a bouncer at a St. Peter's St. Petersburg area bar, but he hasn't thrown out guys as big as Moskowitz before. Hunter also is a jujitsu stylist is used to people trying to choke him. He's used to the guillotine choke, and I'm sure he's taught how to relax in there, how to just get a little bit of room and let the other man squeeze and pry and waste energy trying to choke him, when in fact, he's just taking that to make the man burn energy. That's really a lot of jujitsu, small incremental wins, and they add up over the course of the fight. Might Hunter get fortunate to get his big opponent on the ground late where he's tired, and then choke him out with his jujitsu? I'm sure that's exactly where he wants to take the big guy and even though Moskowitz says he wants to fight on the ground it was my feeling he wanted to keep it on the feet the whole time Moskowitz trying to apply a choke here yeah he needs to hook the foot he needs to get that foot in and if he can get the foot in he can arch and it's not so much pulling on the arms it's bowing your chest forward, inhaling and bowing your chest forward, forcing pressure to the back of the head. Oh, a good move by Hunter. He's in the side mount. This fight can change radically now for a Hunter. Hunter knows exactly where he is. He's how, resting. How is tired is Moskowitz? Well, Moskowitz right now is, in a, is unfortunately caught in a side mount. He is now and should start to try to move his hips to try to get him into the guard. Hunter is waiting. He is going to raise up and start to throw blows down towards Moskowitz. And now he's mounted him. He's mounted him. And let's see if Alex the Chief Hunter can land some blows. Moskowitz looks tired. See if Moskowitz can get Hunter back into the guard. Right now he's content to lay there and just work with his hands to prevent blows, but the key to getting out is your hips. And Hunter has both those feet underneath the buttocks of Moskowitz, and if he elevates that, Moskowitz is grounded. He won't be able to move. Stay working, stay working. Positioning the great equalizer when you're dealing with a huge weight disadvantage, and right now it is the Chief who is in good position with the mount. Stay Hunter working, studied Alex. under legendary Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu world man Sergio Montero. Moskowitz trying to get some energy up to reverse Hunter. To really roll the man, you have to go directly over your head first to make the stay top working, man in the mount Alex. plant his arms. Once his arms are caught, you had to hook one of his feet with your heel, and then you can roll him. Almost 8.30 in. Good effort, Bounce Good scheduled for 12 minutes, no overtime. Another effort, but not good enough by Moskowitz. 
And Moskowitz needs to be careful. If he rolls to the side that way, he may. Stay working. Keep it working. He may make his back vulnerable, and Hunter will take his back, get behind him, and look for a uh, full naked choke. Another effort that proved to be Keep feeble working. by Moskowitz. This is alternate bout one. Ultimate Fighting Championship 15 collision course. Nine minutes in, three to go. Well, it's so hard to tell who is winning this fight in striking. This has been the only action on the ground. And in terms of aggressiveness, it's been Hunter who's been attacking Moskowitz the whole fight, trying to take him down. Hunter tried to enhance his position, but he's right up top where he wants to be. Maybe he needs to score a little more. Uh, it, it doesn't seem that Moskowitz is in any hurry to get Hunter off of him, to break them out, to get him into his guard. He's not trying to do that at all. Just every now and then he's rolling sideways, and it's really not an effective reversal technique. Again, he's got to move forward to get Hunter to plant his arms before going sideways. I don't know if he has the energy right now to, to make a reversal. Ten minutes in, two to go. And it was Hunter who took over this fight with the side mount and then the full mount after about six minutes. So he's going to end up, as far as the judges are concerned, I would think, with the domination. It's a close fight, but I do believe at this point Hunter is ahead and he's controlling the ground and he's been the aggressor. Again, the strikes, even though he's in the mount, he is not really hitting Moskowitz with any effective punches. Yes, they are landing, but none of them are hurting Moskowitz at all. He's going to win for ground attack and he's going to win for overall being busy. I believe that is the case at this point, Bruce. But I also have to believe that Hunter blew a lot of energy early in those huge double leg takedown events, and that's showing right now in his inability to raise up and try to be more offensive and effective in the mouth. And now, alternate referee Joe Hamilton will separate the fighters with a little bit over a minute to go. If there's a lack of action, the referee has the authority to restart the fight. That's exactly what Joe did. No, 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 no. Turn around. Get ready. And Moskowitz sneaks a quick swing over the top of the octagon. You ready to continue? Get busy. Let's go. Here we go. A little bit over go, a go, minute go. to go, and both fighters look tired. Very tired and disinterested right now. now Who's going to be the go, aggressor? Go, go, now, fatigue changes good everyone. Good fatigue has an effect on everyone. And it's only the great ones, the champs, that are able to maintain focus during fatigue. Let's go. You've got to reach deep down during these times. And the aggressor has now changed. Moskowitz is moving in on Hunter. This is going to be a close fight for the judges. Oh, by Hunter. Back to the side mount. The Chief with some quickness. Well, that might do it for Hunter. He was smart. He waited for the big punch from Moskowitz. He went under it and took him down. 12 minutes complete. No overtime. It will go to the judges. Three judges will score. Jeff Santella, three-time Hall of Fame cross-training master, PKA, UFSKA kickboxing champion. Jeff Mullen, the former pro kickboxer from now owning Mid-South Karate, where he teaches self-defense at the University of Memphis. And Michael D. Pasquale, Jr., a world-renowned jiu-jitsu expert, publisher and editor of Karate International Magazine. Here's the last takedown here. Moskowitz trying a right hook, and to his credit, the Chief dropping right under him. Textbook double leg takedown to a side mount. That might have been the difference in this fight. We felt he was ahead early, but when they got stood up, it seemed Moskowitz took over being the aggressor. But right away, Hunter took him down. Here's that reversal, getting to the side mount. Alex Hunter, the chief, doing well. But both fighters look tired at the end. Absolutely. Exhausted. I think Hunter weathered the storm early. You know, he was, he was mature. He was patient. He didn't panic when he was picked up in the air two or three times and Moskowitz was looking for the choke out. He certainly was looking for the guillotine choke, but when he was doing all the lifting against the fence, he really wasn't in a position to sink the hole tight and to use his chest and hips to add the pressure that really makes the choke work. Standing by for Bruce Buffer's announcement. 
from the judges as to who has won this fight. Now both men coming back to the center of the octagon. A judge can only go one way. He can't split his decision. It's a vote for one or the other. Let's go up to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of 12 minutes, we have a final decision by the judges. Judge Di Pasquale votes Chief Hunter. <laughs> Judge Jeff Mullen votes Moskowitz. Judge Jess Santella votes for the winner, Chief Hunter! So it's Alex Hunter by a split decision. And Mr. Waskowitz. And he wins the alternate contest and he stays alive in the overall scheme of things tonight. If there should be need for a replacement in the main heavyweight tournament, which fields a group of four. Good work by Hunter. Tired, but it's a lot better to go away with a win. Well, certainly it is, but I do believe Hunter spent most of his energy in those sequences early trying to get those big takedowns. Here's that last time, a nice kick to the center. Moskowitz sprawls as Hunter tries the double leg takedown, and here he's trying to sink the hole to guillotine choke. He needs to get the forearm under the chin. Once getting there, he wants to push his belly and chest forward, arch with the back, and lift at the neck, trying to bow the back up of Hunter, but he never had it sunk properly. 